Millions of Americans are not registered to vote. In fact, the number of new registered voters dropped dramatically by 70% from 2016. Many are Gen Z first-time voters, and their voice matters more than ever in our elections. Luckily, you can register to vote online. Here's how. If you are 18 years old by the election day, a U.S. citizen, and meet your state's requirements, you can register to vote online. Here are three easy steps to follow. Step one, find an official voter registration website. You can register to vote online at vote.org or usa.gov. Individual states may also provide a website for online registration. Just remember that registering to vote is always free and be sure to register on an official .gov or .org website. This young lady would like to vote. She can't without a student ID. Step two, make sure you've got the right documents. Here's what you're gonna need. An address that's close to where you'll cast your ballot and a valid government issued ID. It could be a driver's license, a passport, or even a social security number. Some states like Kansas and Arizona require proof of citizenship, while others like Wisconsin will need you to provide proof of residence. If you live in one of these states, you're also gonna need a birth certificate or naturalization certificate and a government issued ID with your current address on it. You can find your state's requirements online. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers did something, I don't know what. Step three, please don't forget your state's registration deadline. Every state is different. They usually vary between a week to a month before the election date. To avoid disappointment, go to vote.org and check out listings for state-by-state -state deadlines. Once you've completed the online registration process, the DMV will transfer your application to the Board of Elections. They'll let you know if you're registered to vote or if you need to provide further information. This can take up to six weeks. Before the election, make sure you read up on the candidates, find your local polling station, and most importantly, turn up on election day. Your vote counts.